They were real studies that were submitted to the FDA for antidepressants and found overall that there's actually no clear evidence of any benefit from antidepressants, that you're simply, it doesn't differentiate substantially from the placebo effect, like giving a sugar pill. I couldn't understand after we read this paper and everybody agreed that that was a valid conclusion that the, the next day they expected us to continue to prescribe antidepressants. So I was like, we just learned, you know, about this and then you're telling us not to act on it, to just keep it as knowledge and then do the opposite. <laughs> Big announcement came that antidepressants could lead to suicidal behaviors and the FDA issued a black box warning. That's their their most severe warning before pulling something from the market. What did the professors say? They told us, oh, it's, it's blown out of proportion. It's a misunderstanding. We know these drugs are safe. But just to protect ourselves, what we're going to do is we're going to, every time we prescribe antidepressants for, you know, for a new patient, we're going to call them up a couple of days later and make sure they're not suicidal. Right. So instead of looking at and saying, hey, could these things be harmful? We're going to instead worry about protecting our own ass. Right. That's what's important. I was very skeptical that a drug could cause a specific behavior or a specific thought. Right. That you take a drug and then you start thinking about suicide. Like I couldn't understand how a drug could make you think something specific. 